らいらっしゃいませ。We are Cafe Antoine.I'm Cyrus. And today we are doing our very last, our final interview with our resident silly little guy, Strawberry. Woo 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 woo! woo! Yeah! <laughs> It's cool. <laughs> Uh, but before we get into the interview portion, as per usual, we do have to get to know her a little bit. So let's get right into it. Tell us about your favorite shows. My favorite shows right now are The Owl House,、uh, which is something we all like to watch together,、um, yeah. Steven Universe, which I have been watching pretty much since it came out. Uh, Gravity Falls, same thing. I, I grew up on that show.、Thank、Over、you. the Garden Wall,、um, which is my favorite thing to rewatch every fall.、Um, Arcane, which I only、vibes. just watched. Yeah, it's perfect for Halloween.、Um, mm -hmm. And Arcane, which I only just recently watched, which everyone was、uh, surprised about, but I really liked it. And also Hilda, which is a really cute. Little animated show that I would highly recommend. I'm pretty sure it's on Netflix. Yeah. yeah, I think it is. I've heard about it. It seems really cute. Yeah. I feel like I feel like you guys would like it since we have very similar tastes in cartoons.、Mm -hmm. The art style just didn't engage me very much when I first saw it. I, I actually really liked it. I, I think I just like. How, how they do the backgrounds and how they do the, the different lighting scenarios in it. It's, it's very、mm. pretty. So, Strawberry, what、yes, are your、Iris? favorite movies? <laughs> <laughs>、uh, on my list, I just put like, Ghibli in general because I like all of their movies. But if I had to name like, the, the ones that are at the top of my list, I'd probably say like, Howl's Moving Castle and My Neighbor Totoro are like, my two. Top favorite ones.、Um, yeah. Yeah. I really like Barbie movies.、Um, I'm a big fan of <laughs>、yes. Barbie、They're、Princess、so、Charm School. That one is very fun.、Ooh. Um, and the classic Princess and the Popper.、Uh, oh, yes. I only、like. recently watched that one. Isn't it so good? Yeah. <laughs> It's so fun. I literally just listened to、um, Free the other day. <laughs> Like the, like the song from the movie. Yeah.、Oh. I gotta rewatch it. I've seen、now. like three Barbie movies. I think there were like、uh, The Diamond Castle, Rapunzel,、oh, which was、classic. my favorite.、Ooh. And、um, I saw. Is it Swan Lake? I love、oh. Swan Lake.、Yeah. Oh my gosh. That means you haven't seen um, 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 12 Dancing Princesses. We need to watch it. Oh my gosh, yes! <laughs> I have、oh, not. Twelve dancing princesses changed the brain, the chemistry of my brain. <laughs> yes. Where, where was I? Oh yeah. Uh. My my next favorite movie is, is Coraline. Um. I don't know why, but as、yes. a kid, I really liked creepy stuff. Uh. I hate it now. Well, I I don't hate Coraline now. I just mean I hate creepy stuff now. Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Spider Verse has to be in there. I love Spider Verse. I have watched it three times and I cried every time. It's、um, such a good movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.、Uh, the Sea Beast, which is relatively new, is so good. It is like、mm. one of the prettiest movies ever. I love the character designs in that movie. Please watch it. It's so fun and so good.、Um, yeah, I watched it a, a little bit ago.、Um, the the、uh, Beast design、yes. reminded me of Toothless. From、Same. How to Train Your Dragon. She was so cute. I、and、know. I meant to watch that.、Uh, and my, my last favorite movie is Monster House, which. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't feel like a lot of people have seen it, but it's such a good Halloween movie.、Um, Bro, I fucking love Monster House. <laughs> it's so, it's so <laughs> funny. And the animation is a little janky, but I feel like that's the charm of it for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Next Halloween. Or, or anytime. Please watch it. If you want nightmares, yes, you should do that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you scared of Monster House? <laughs> Have I not told you guys? 
Peachy is terrified of everything. Of course she's scared of Monster House. No, but, like, I have specifically had a fear of Monster House since I watched it. Like, I've Wait, never really? watched Monster House. What? Except the first time that I've seen it because it scarred me, Not no joke, for, like, two years straight. Whoa, I didn't Ooh. know that it was that bad. It scared me so badly. Like, it, like irreversible mental damage to my oh body. Oh, my God. Because oh, I was... <laughs> <laughs> so scared of Monica. I'm, it I'm was so sorry so for scary. bringing it up. Damn. <laughs> Alrighty, Strawly, now on to your favorite music. Um, yeah, so for my favorite music, it's hard it was easier for me to just like pick songs that I like to give you an idea of the kind of stuff I listen to rather than specific artists. Um but a longtime favorite song of mine is uh Setsuna Plus which is a Vocaloid song. Um, yeah. And Ooh. it's just, it's really cute. I remember really liking the aesthetic of the music video when I watched it as a kid. Um, I like how Miku's voice sounds in it. It sounds a bit different from her usual sound. Um, and it's just a very cute and like peaceful song. Um, and then there's the song uh, 134340 or Pluto by BTS, which is very good. Um, which is also more of a chill song. I just really like the vibe of it and uh, and the the vocals in it. It makes me very happy. Uh, Night Running, which is the the outro song from Brand New Animal. <laughs> um, yeah, it's so good. It's so good. I'm I'm so I'm so obsessed with it and like the visuals that go along with it in the end credits. Oh my god, it's so good. I, I don't think it's left my playlist. So much. It's such yes. a good song. Oh, I don't think it's left my credits. Uh, my what? Your my credits? playlist <laughs> since I first watched Brand New Animal because it's it's just so good and it's like the perfect vibe. Um uh Noir by Sunmi. Um which Oh yes. Yes. I love Sunmi's music, but Noir, I don't know. I don't even know what it is about Noir, but it's Probably it just one of my, hits yeah, different. It's one of my favorites from her. Again, like, whenever I listen to it, I can picture the music video and, like, the aesthetics of the video in my head. Um, which is, I feel like, how I listen to a lot of music. Like, I can picture the image in my head. Uh, and uh, it's really good. And I, I like the meaning of it and, and the lyrics. Um, Passion by Pink Pantheris. Um... I mm. pretty much love any song by Pink Pantheris, um, but this yeah. one, this one especially, is really cool. Um, and also Russian Roulette by Red Velvet. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I I just love that song so much. I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory. How can you not love Russian Roulette? How can you not love Red Velvet? Honestly. Right. I yeah. always find myself coming back to them, even though I like don't listen to them consistently. Mm-hmm. How about your favorite games? Let's talk about those. <laughs> um, my favorite games. Um, I had to throw two Zelda games in there. Uh, Heck Twilight yeah. Princess <laughs> is one of my most favorite games of all time. Um, I've I've played it so many times. I finished it like four, five times, and then I finished it another couple times on Master Mode because Yo. I can't stop playing it. Um, I really like Wind Waker. <laughs> Wind Waker it is really close up there uh, with Twilight Princess because I, I grew up on both of these games and like playing them on the GameCube. Um, so they're they're fun, but they also definitely have a, a big, big nostalgia factor for me. Uh, mm -hmm. Animal Crossing in general, New Horizons was good, not my favorite. Um, I still really like... Uh, what was the one for the Wii that I always played? I think it was City Folk. That one I really liked. And the very first one for GameCube, uh, where you have to, like, walk around all the different acres. Um, and, uh, I also like Hades a lot. Uh, um, I didn't, I didn't think it would be the type of game that I would get into, but I I'm honestly addicted to it. <laughs> uh... <laughs> It was really difficult because for some reason I, I didn't have the the foresight to like plug in a controller, so I've been playing with just my mouse and keyboard. Uh, but I really like it. I love the art direction and the characters and the voice acting and everything about it. I feel um, like it's <laughs> easier to play with a 
have some keyboard. You think so? Yeah, I try to. Pl I really, I'm really bad at it on my Switch because I can't. I can't do controls. <laughs> 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 Are you more I used mean, to it PC is the games? age-old battle, PC versus console? Listen, I just, I, I don't know. My brain works better with PC. I think I'm the opposite of you then because I, hmm. I've always had a doo-doo garbage laptop so i never really played <laughs> doo -doo right, so that's fair I'm uh i also really like paper mario but specifically thousand year door the whole title just wouldn't fit um yeah but, oh my god yeah. that was my oh. first paper mario yeah same i um i've been wanting to replay it recently because i still have it uh and i still have my old gamecube um because as a kid i did not have the attention span to finish things so I would play to a certain point, be like, this is too hard, and I'm bored, and then delete my save file. <laughs> oh my god. And, no. <laughs> and that's how I played 90% of my games. I don't know why. So I've been <laughs> I've been on a mission to like replay all the old games that I never finished. <laughs> uh, oh, but anyways, I my last favorite uh, is Kirby. Um, I like a lot of Kirby games. I really liked uh, the most recent one, Kirby in the Forgotten Land. Um, but probably my favorite is Kirby's Epic Yarn. <laughs> oh my god, Which is the I cutest, love that game. It's the cutest game ever. Um, and it has a special place in my heart because my little brother and I would play co-op mode uh, throughout the Aww. whole game. And Aww. it was very fun. Yeah, me and my sister would do the same. We would, <laughs> we would spend hours probably going back and forth as the car. <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh! <laughs> and throwing each other around. <laughs> uh huh. Ah, <laughs> uh, Shrubby, what are your favorite foods? I'm glad you asked. Uh, my favorite foods are pumpkin pie. I could eat. I could eat so much pumpkin pie. If you put a pumpkin mm. pie in front of me, I will eat the whole thing. <laughs> for so long i have been afraid of trying pumpkin pie because i've grown up around people that hated it oh no so oh. i was like um i guess i'll steer clear of it then but i recently had it like a couple days ago for the first time and i i am obsessed it's, it's so, so good, good. Yeah. i'm so sorry people <laughs> held it from you for so long it's such a good pie. yeah <laughs> also really like green curry uh my mom and and my grandma make really good green curry um like my my grandma sends in stuff like to my mom from malaysia that she uses to make it so it's really good um, oh. and very yummy um i love green tea green tea of all kinds pretty much but i've really gotten into uh strawberry green tea which is so what? delicious. Mm. Yes. That's that like cannibalism. So yummy. <laughs> it's so good. Nar. I, I, I seriously have never heard of that. I want to, um, because for, for context, I work at a tea shop. So I, I want to send out tea to you guys. Um, and I need to send oh you all God. a sample of strawberry green tea because it's so I good. I need like three pounds of that. <laughs> it's so, it's like, it's good on its own. It's good cold. It's good as a tea latte. Oh my gosh. Uh, Honestly, you could include some of in my package because my dad also really likes tea. Mm hmm. He, uh, like, he likes all of the tea that I don't like, basically. Like, he likes, like, herbal teas and he likes green teas, especially. I love green yeah. tea. So yummy. Uh, even, even on its own, it's, it just smells good. <laughs> it has, like, little strawberry bits. Green tea does smell good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and as for unflavored green tea, Oh, which one was it? I really like Genmaicha is really good. Um, it has like mm. popped rice in it, so it's nice and toasty. Mm-hmm. You know what? I have had that one. That yeah. was good. We also have one at the shop called Caramel Genmaicha, which is really <gasps> good. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> 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 I love tea. Anyways, I also really like cheesecake. Predictably, I love strawberry cheesecake. Um, nice. I ooh, last Halloween I made a really good pumpkin cheesecake, which was so yummy. Oh. Uh, I really like noodles. I don't know why I wrote just noodles and didn't specify, but I I, <laughs> I guess I just mean I love all noodles. Um, mm. <laughs> 
I, I like it all kinds of ways. I like fried noodles. I like pho. I like ramen. Um, I just love You're noodles. You're like, what? Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> Raw men. Did you not hear? Anyway. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what I'm trying to say is that I like noodles of all kinds. Um, they're just, they're always just so yummy, no matter what dish they're in. Um, and I also really like bubble tea. I love brown sugar milk tea, but it's usually so sweet that I can only have it like every now and then. Um, I also like uh, the uh, like a peach green black tea uh, when I go to get my bubble tea order. Uh, it really depends on the mood I'm in, if I want something super sweet or not. Alrighty, strawberry. Oh, thank you for letting us know a little bit about yourself. Now, are you ready for the interview? Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> well, that requ- that question was, was a little bit rhetorical. <laughs> but I thought it was I'm already glad you're going to answer these questions now. <laughs> I thought I was already hired. You're... Why do I do an interview? <laughs> um, we're interviewing everybody to make sure that you're fit for this position. Fuck. What are some of your biggest art inspirations? Whew. Um, I get a lot of inspiration from fantasy media, uh, like Studio Ghibli, um, The Legend of Zelda, Dungeons and Dragons, stuff like that. I especially like to look at concept art and character designs from said things. And I have a couple art books, too, that I love to just look through when I'm feeling a little bit art blocked. Uh, as for artists I follow, I try my best to narrow it down to just a few. Okay, I don't know. I've never said their username out loud, so I'm so sorry if I'm saying it wrong. But Miyukumak, Miyukumak, they they're an artist and animator who has some of my favorite line work I've ever seen. Just the way they line is so like pretty and so delicate. Um, and I I really want my line art to look like that. <laughs> I'm also just really in love with all the characters that they post. Uh, they just have the kind of art that I could sit and study for hours. Uh, there's also uh, Kiruchi. Kiruchi. Um, he does a lot of fun character designs. Um, and I come back to their art a lot for inspiration. Because their style is just so like funky and creative. I really like the colors they use. And, and like and just the overall vibe of their art is it's so fun. Uh, there's Ivy Alive. Her illustrations are beautiful. I, I really do aspire to make art at the level she does. Um, recently, she drew a bunch of fairies and like witches having a tea party, and it was everything to me because the lighting is so pretty, <laughs> the rendering is so pretty. I, they just add so much detail to everything that they put out. Oh my god, everyone has difficult names. Sonia Stegeman. Stegeman. Uh, <gasps> Ooh, I forgot yeah. this artist. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, I love her art, and she also does this really fun monthly thing on her Patreon where she sends out, like, stickers and illustrations and stationery. Um, and every month she has a really fun, like, different theme. And uh, I remember uh, paying to get her strawberry-themed stuff a few months ago, uh, because of course I did. Um, of course. Yeah, pretty on brand. Yeah. <laughs> and seeing her stuff really <laughs> inspires me to... Get started on selling my own stickers, uh, which we won't talk about that. Which it better be happening. <laughs> and friends, thank you. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> I'm working on it. Work faster. Oh. Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, and last one before I shut up is Chandelure. Uh, their paintings are some of like my favorite that I've ever seen. Um, and as much as going lineless really kills me, because I feel like my art relies a lot on the lines, um, their art makes me want to try, basically, because their their brushstrokes and the textures and everything are always so pretty. Um, they draw very beautiful women, so thank you for your service. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's so few compared to how many artists I follow and like look up to. Um, but overall, mm-hmm. I, I just really like following a bunch of artists with different styles as inspiration. Yeah. What is something you'd like to improve on? <laughs> I'm sorry, you, you jump scared me a little bit. <laughs> sorry. I, 
I would like to improve on building my my visual library, if that makes sense. Um, mm -hmm. Which, like, of course, there's nothing wrong with using references, and I'll always recommend them. But I, I also want to understand how to draw stuff better. Like, I want to understand the shapes and structures of different things more so that I can confidently draw more than just people. I want to, like, mm -hmm. I want to be able to draw a horse, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, because I, I am an artist. However, if you ask me to draw a dog from memory, do oh, absolutely not. I I can't. <laughs> I can't. Um, I can make him look cute, but anatomically correct, not really. Um, so I just <laughs> yeah. I just want to study more things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Miss <was> Yanni. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's, that's definitely um, that's definitely a shared desire amongst all of us i think uh what are your goals for this channel and our youtube group as a whole i i definitely share the sentiment with everybody else so far obviously um and i would love to do this fun thing with my friends and to one day do it as my job which is not to say that i i'm only doing it for the sake of going big because doing this kind of thing has been a dream of mine for a while anyway so i'm happy just doing it but it would just be so cool to draw for a living. Um, Cause that's what I've always wanted to do is just draw uh, and have it be my job. Like I, I think it would be really cool if we got the opportunity to do that, you know? Yeah, 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 <laughs> definitely. All right, Strawberry, hit us with the truth. Whoa, what are your favorite types of videos to watch on YouTube and or who are your favorite YouTubers? Hmm. I watch I watch a lot of gameplay videos, um, movie reviews, and uh, lore diving videos. Some of my favorite YouTubers are uh, Berlizzi, who does a lot of gaming content. Uh, he's the type of YouTuber who I would watch play almost anything, just because I, I love his sense of humor so much. And I've picked up a lot of... Uh, you know how, how you like start talking similarly to your friend when you talk to them too much i've started yeah. i've started picking up that from him <laughs> <laughs> um i've watched his sims 4 playthrough more times than i can count it's so funny um and i also really loved watching him uh bully children on among us vr i i also watch cory kenshin who of course a lot of people know of uh, he's another gaming YouTuber who I've been watching for years now. Um, one year for Christmas, I got my brother and I both merch uh, because we regularly watched him together. So we have like matching shirts from one of his old merch drops. Aww. I watch uh, Super Mega, my favorite white boys. They also do a lot of gaming, um, but also skits and other stuff. <laughs> Some, of my... white boys. <laughs> <laughs> Some of my favorite videos of theirs are... Um, their RuneScape playthrough. Um, they also did another RuneScape playthrough with Game Grumps, which was super funny. And I also really like their SpongeBob playthrough. Uh, weirdly enough, I sometimes put on their like SpongeBob playthrough while I sleep because I just like having background noise. Oh yeah, uh, I really like watching Kenny JD. Um, I think she's most known for her Bad Movies in a Beat series, where she reviews bad movies while putting her makeup on. Um, but she also does Ooh. vlogs, and she likes to do little video essays of anything that she's interested in at the moment. Like, recently she watched, um, that Netflix show, Love is Blind, and let me tell you, I do not care about reality shows, but <laughs> I watched it anyway because, um, I don't know, I love hearing her opinions on stuff. Um, she's very eloquent when she speaks, and I feel like... We think similarly in a lot of ways, so I I always find myself agreeing with what she talks about. And I don't know, she's just another YouTuber where, like, even if I don't know the movie or don't care, I'll, I'll watch it anyway because she's funny and I like watching her. I, I like Izzy's. I love Izzy's content. Um, they do a lot of video essays, too, and they deep dive into stuff like Sims and Club Penguin and Creepypasta. And I really like mm -hmm. their videos for the nostalgia factor. Um, the amount of research she does, and also because I enjoy seeing their different makeup looks. Their their eyeliner is always so fun. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. 
Oh my god, it it inspires me a lot They're to so try creative, different stuff yeah. with my eyeliner. Uh huh. <laughs> um, so cool. And I I also hope it's not weird to say, but she also just has like a a really nice voice to listen to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I put some of their videos on sometimes when I'm drawing. Yeah, just because I like it. Their voice is so good, <laughs> just so good for that. It is. Um. And, and the last one on my list is uh, Zeltic, who specializes in Zelda content. Um, <gasps> I think I've seen a few of their videos. Yeah, he makes like a lot of lore videos, uh, videos on Easter eggs, uh, theories. Um, and honestly, every time I get back into my Zelda hyperfixation, because it never really goes away. Um, I just watch so many of their videos, and I think I'm running out of videos to watch from him. <laughs> nah. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunate. Tragic. Yes. What would you describe your artistic style as? Ooh, this one was difficult for me. Um, because when I first started teaching myself how to draw with my good old Christopher Hart How to Draw manga book, Oh, um no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 my my art style started out really anime inspired, but lately I wouldn't describe it as that. Like I I take some inspiration from realism when it comes to shading and certain details, but I would still call it pretty stylized and cartoonish. And it also depends on what I'm drawing. Like sometimes I draw things more realistic than others. Um like, not quite semi-realism, but definitely along those lines. Uh, I don't know. Style is weird. I I think I, I just want it to be colorful and, like, fun. And um, I, I think a word that I would like to apply to my art is, is ethereal. I'm not sure if it's there yet, but that's the kind of vibe that I would like to work towards. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're... There are definitely a lot of pieces that you have that are definitely at that stage. Every time yeah. you draw Aurelius, really I think I die and go to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> She's so fucking pretty every time you draw her. Oh <laughs> Thank you. So, so that's pretty ethereal to me. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, the, the best non-biased examples that come to mind for me <laughs> are... Um, my bad. The... What is her name? Sorry, I do not play Genshin anymore. Rosaria? Rosaria drawing that you did. I love the, like, that drawing. Very biblical inspired inspired one. Ooh. E ethereal incarnate. Oh my yeah. gosh. Thank um, you. And also the the Marceline one that you did. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> and I mean, even though it's completely green, that one that you did of that one Hades, Hades character. Oh, the like super green one. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't know their names. I think it was my. I think it was my OC because <laughs> I I made a fan oh. design of Eris. Oh yeah, yeah, your OC, your OC. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I fully I... forgot that was not a character that was in the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I was like Hades character. Who did I draw? But it was like it was an old OC that I made, um, because there is a trend of people. Uh, making characters for like gods that didn't exist in the game, um, oh, and it was yeah, so yeah, fun. Yeah. So I did like one drawing of her mm. in the Hades style, and then I also did that painting of her, which I'm I'm still really proud of. I kind of want to redraw it to see how I can do now. Those are so good. Thank you. There's also the um, there's a water one, I think, where someone is holding a sword. Oh, it's oh blue. yes 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 oh. sea fairy cookie. <laughs> Yeah, I would I would definitely say your like full illustrations when you go all out, like you really hit mm -hmm. the the ethereal side. Yeah, for sure. Well, thank you for saying that. Oh, the one self portrait you made of yourself as a fairy. <gasps> oh yes! Oh, I love that one. Oh my gosh, that one was so fun. Or just the picture <laughs> in general. <laughs> yeah. It was literally so <laughs> magical. Thank you. <laughs> What was the hardest or worst experience you had working on a piece? There was this 
Well, not nightmare, because it, it was fun. Because it was something we did as a group. But there is this project that we had to do an art school where we had to design a building based on a prompt. And I don't remember the exact wording of the prompt, but mine was uh, a dwarvish style building uh, suspended in the air between two mountains. Um, and we, we had to design the building and then we had to 3D model it and then we had to pose it in perspective and then uh, make different thumbnails of it and like color uh, color tests of it and then finally like fully draw and render it and I, I remember I learned how to photo bash for that drawing because I wanted mine oops I think I just smacked my mic I wanted mine to be realistic so my teacher helped me photo bash like textures onto the mountain which was also really freaking hard um, and it was so... Strawberry. Oh! So <laughs> <laughs> Bleep that out! Uh, <laughs> but it was just, like, it was so... I, I felt very happy with it in the end, considering that it was way out of my comfort zone, but it was so hard. Because I... Mm -hmm. my, my brain is so character-geared that designing anything like a, like a building or a vehicle or a prop is still a bit difficult to me um mm -hmm. it was so hard like i'll put the picture on the screen <laughs> was there ever a piece of media that heavily shifted your understanding of art um it, it wasn't something that impacted my art necessarily but changed like my understanding of art in general was uh spider-verse and arcane because I've always preferred 2D over 3D, um, and I remember being a little bit annoyed with the the recent like turn towards realism and realism better, you know. Um, but the way they combined both so so well really struck me, um, and it made me really happy because they're they're like they're 3D, but they're still so stylized. Like Arcane has the painted backgrounds. Spider-Verse has the fun comic book-like effects. Um, it was just so awesome to see something different and how well they work together. Um, oh, and I almost forgot to mention, but another movie that did this really well was uh, Mitchell's vs. the Machines. That one is so fun. Uh, and it just made me really happy to see more stuff like that. Um, because I will always prefer stylized stuff. <laughs> And that's not to say realism is bad. It's just my personal preference, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Was there a specific moment where you felt a big turning point in your art? When I was, uh, when I was younger, I always knew I wanted to be an artist, but I could never really settle on what kind of artist or how I would make it into any job other than art teacher. Um, and then one day... My dad bought me the Hyrule Historia book for my birthday, and I was so excited. Mm. Um, and as I was flipping... <gasps> That's a good present. Yes. <laughs> oh, but uh, with, with the Hyrule Historia, um, as I was flipping through it, uh, it's filled with all their, their concept work. Um, and the pages specifically that really stuck out to me was the, the two-page spread of like unused characters for Skyward Sword. Um, and I don't know why I, well, I, I guess I was young, so I just didn't know, but it never occurred to me before that that was something that I could do, was character design and concept work for stuff, and so ever since then, I, I knew that that's what I wanted to specialize in, because I, I do, I do a lot of character design anyway, and yeah, I just really liked seeing the stuff that goes on in in the background for a production like that um and honestly even if my character design were to get rejected i would be so happy to work on it anyway is there a style of art that you'd like to try out someday i would love to try food art and and not as in drawing with food but drawing food i want to learn from those artists that draw the most delectable real food you've ever seen like that artist that painted a grilled cheese and oil paint. I don't. I don't know if you guys saw that or not. No. I just. 
I unfortunately I I just saw a couple of their viral tweets, but I don't remember their username. But they made like this really fun series of oil paintings of just regular everyday food. Um, but I want to try stuff like that, and I want to tr I want to draw super cute desserts and make like Ghibli level delicious food art. I think that would be very fun. I love drawing food so much. I always have <laughs> so much fun when I get to draw food. You should definitely try it. I, I recommend. <laughs> yes. All right, Strawberry. The big question that we oh all God. totally are not <laughs> already aware of your answer or anything. <laughs> no way. I'm so mysterious and unpredictable. Uh-huh. <laughs> If totally. you could do official art for a game, what kind of game would you want to draw for? <laughs> well, you may not know this, but I'm a big Zelda fan. Uh-huh. And I, would love <laughs> I would love to make art for a Zelda game. I want it so bad. My purpose would be fulfilled if that were to ever happen for me. If they could just, like, reach out and be like, do you want to design, like, one character? I'd be like, yes, please. I would kill... <laughs> <laughs> to design characters for a Zelda game because I they've just they've been my main source of inspiration for art for as long as I can remember like the idea of getting to be part of a big project like that sounds so dreamy um yeah yeah <laughs> Nintendo please <laughs> Nintendo please if you're watching this I'm on my hands and knees alrighty well thank you for Letting us get to know a little bit more about you, Strawby. Thank and you for asking. Now we're gonna go into the into the silly questions. The the fun ones, the goofy ones, dare I say. <laughs> oh my gosh, the silly questions. The silly little guys. So, our first fun question is, what is a trait about your art that you think is unique to your style, but you feel goes unnoticed? Okay, uh, for this question, I, I was actually stumped, and I, I, I had to ask uh, some people, like, if they could name anything that sticks out to them, or like, uh, which I... <laughs> I know that's not the question, but I, I really couldn't think of anything. But um, we, were <laughs> we were actually talking about it before recording, but my unusual amount of cleanliness, like, <laughs> 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 when I show what I think is a sketch to my friends, uh, they get very mad at me, <laughs> and they tell me that it's not a sketch, and that I shouldn't even bother doing line art. <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's like it's a real thing because I, I've received genuine criticisms from my teachers before and been told that I need to be okay with being messier because if I want to get into concept work I have to be good at making concepts loose concepts and not detailed designs because when you do concept work not all of it is going to be used right and you kind of need to be able to come up with a bunch of designs and quickly so they were telling me to like please relax be messier stop polishing everything because you're spending too much time but it's difficult um because i like taking the extra time to polish my work um and i spend a really long and tedious amount of time on line art uh uh like whenever i stream <laughs> my line art to friends they're like why, why do you do this to yourself? <laughs> <laughs> um, no. But of course, online, uh, you know, not a lot of people will zoom in to notice that kind of thing, you know, which is not to complain. Um, because why would you go around and zoom in on every art that you see? Um, but it, it's it's generally a thing that goes unnoticed unless unless you know me and I send you, like, the different stages of my art. That was the only thing I could think of. <laughs> sure. 
what are your favorite things about one of your favorite video games? Totally not <laughs> another question that's going to be followed up by an answer related to Zelda. <laughs> I'm sure, uh, I'm sure. Uh, deletes paragraph. <laughs> no. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, well... Nice as you would have you guessed, <laughs> as you would have guessed, I could talk about Zelda forever. Um, and I, my favorite things about them is that I love each game's unique art direction. Um, I would like that they really switch up the aesthetics in every game and the art style. I feel like they're all very unique looking. Um, the soundtracks are so beautiful. Uh, their sound design is crazy. Like, I, I watched a whole video on the sound design in Breath of the Wild, and it's so insane, the amount of work they put into these games. Um, right? Yeah. Uh, if, if you can find it, I would highly recommend watching that video if you like Zelda stuff, or if you just want a fun little video to watch. They, like, recorded... Uh, I don't even know how to describe it. M maybe just go watch it. Uh, but, <laughs> but the... And the character designs are amazing, as I said before. Uh, I really like staring at their designs to just to see how they um how they render clothes and how a lot of characters have such a mishmash of designs and patterns going on, but they make it work. Um, the different silhouettes of the characters um, and how they're they're all so notable. Um, I don't know. Every aspect of them inspires me so much. And as you already know, I really like Twilight Princess, Wind Waker, and Breath of the Wild. Um, they're all very replayable, and I can never get sick of them. If you could have any job, what would it be? Ignoring money as a factor. Dude, if we're ignoring money, honestly, I would love to just be jobless. Like, if we didn't need money anymore, I'm not doing anything. Yeah. But... You know, like, I, I would just love to be able to do whatever I want to do. Um, but if we have to pick one, I think I would say gardening. I, I like the idea of growing my own fruits and veggies, growing flowers, uh, working from home, just, like, having that quiet time in my cute little backyard. Um, mm -hmm. Like, I, I would love to have my own t little tiny house with a big garden. Um Oh, That's the dream. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like it would be so peaceful. Um, mm -hmm. And a, and aside from that, like for the rest of the day, I I can just chill. What is your favorite anime or animated show? Currently, definitely the Owl House. Yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so beautifully animated, especially the fight scenes. I could watch the fight scenes over and over. I love all the characters and how. Uh, all of their individual development is written so well. How it's written so well, despite their time constraints. Uh, yeah. Thanks yeah. to a certain rat. Uh, it's my number one <laughs> obsession right now. It makes me really emotional <laughs> in all the best ways. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it'll be a while now before this episode is released. But I want the audience to know that we all watched the first episode of season three together, and I cried three times. I was very <laughs> emotional. Yeah, I was also on Bit the verge of tears at least Yuck. twice. It was such a roller coaster <laughs> of an episode, dude. It was. I watched it for a second time and definitely cried. Learned a lot already. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, what's your go-to drink slash comfort food when dry tea and cookies yeah uh, specifically yeah. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um specifically i love having a cup of like cream roll gray tea and having um some little cookies to dip in it it's very comforting and nostalgic for me Honestly, like any any sweet with a warm drink is so good. Um, I love buying myself same. a silly little treat. <laughs> um, <laughs> and even as a kid, when my mom would take me to Starbucks, 
I would always get a kid's hot chocolate and a biscotti to, to dip in the hot chocolate. Oh and God. it was so freaking good. Ooh. Yeah. What the heck? You were a fancy kid. I was. That sounds like luxury. <laughs> <laughs> it was my tradition every time. <laughs> so, thank you, Strawby, for letting us know every single thing about you. <laughs> I love talking yep, about that's myself. it. That's everything to know about strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very fun. I'm glad I got to hear about Zelda. <laughs> Yay! Um. <laughs> Thank you for listening to me word vomit for an hour. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And as for the picture that we're working on, we just finished the last part. And I hope you enjoyed our a little series of interviews as well. It was fun getting to know everyone. Yeah. <laughs> and thanks for stopping on by. Don't forget to leave a like and tell us what you think of the video. Let us know if you have any of the same favorites as Strawby. And make sure to check out the links to the to Cafe Etoile and everyone's socials in the description below. Also, feel free to join our Discord while you're at it. Thanks again, and come back soon! Bye! Bye. Bye.